All right, so for today, we're gonna to look at uh, building the cheapest effective repeater possible. I'm gonna start out with some of our components. This is a Surecom SR112 counterbalance. Still hate that word, counterpoise. Uh, a Bree 42 and a half inch tactical antenna. And a radio. That's pretty much well it. We can get a little bit fancier, put a little standoff in here and a ground stake. Oh, and we need some of these. Um, a keen eye will tell that these are not ordinary rubber bands. These are tactical elastic banders. Tactical elastic banders. All right, so let's get this junk out of the way and let's take a look at what's inside the SR-112 here. All right, so we've got our radio cable. Little power brick. Power cable. Ooh. The repeater module itself. And the instruction manual for those of us that know how to read. Uh, this does have its own internal battery. I don't know if it's on the box, but it does tell us in here what type of battery this thing has in it. Okay. It's saying it is a 900 milliamp battery. So that will last the standby time of 180 hours. Yeah, right, they're using IRS math on that. I don't think we're gonna quite get 180 hours out of a 900 milliamp battery on standby, but we might. All right, let's start putting this thing together and see what we come up with. All right, first things first, let's make the necessary modifications to the radio. So, only the stock antenna, just your Baofeng standard radio here. And then right where the antenna port is, this screw right here underneath, I'm gonna go ahead, back that little guy out. And take and get our counterbalance. Insert said screw in the tab. And put that back in and screw that right on down. I have seen where they have the little rings that go around the antenna. I don't particularly care for that. I like putting it right back here. It seems to be a more secure connection. The other works just as well, but there it is. And then we're not gonna screw the antenna on here just to keep that from getting in the way for right now. So now let's go ahead and get our controller over. All right, so this Surecom SR112 Radio Record Simplex Repeater Controller. How this works, is you will transmit to your radio. This records the audio, and then at the end of the transmission, shortly thereafter, this replays right back through this radio, which you transmitted. So this is what's referred to as a parrot repeater. All right, so this is the cable we need. This is a Kenwood style connector. That's what all these little Baofeng radios use. This unfurled. Make sure that your radio is turned off when you insert this. You'll pull down your mic speaker connection. Plug this in. Make sure that's fully seated. And then on the back of this little guy right here, here your radio port. Make sure that is fully seated. And then that's the power button when we get to that point. Okay, the next thing we're going to do, get this out of the way. I'm going to take and use our tactical elastic banders. These are not rubber bands. These are specifically made for repeaters in tactical situations only. And we are going to make some sort of bullshit knot between the repeater, the radio, the antenna, the cable, and we're going to use these rubber bands to put it all together. So while I'm embarrassing myself figuring out how I want to put all of that together, I will show you the end result as soon as that's done. And a quick side note, if you're not a complete radio hobo and you would like to waterproof it, this little Apache 1800 case from Harbor Freight 
you can get these on sale for like 16 bucks. Um, you can drill a hole in here, put an antenna port, get a little jumper to go to your radio. This is the proper way to do it, but we're not doing that. Well, I say proper. Well, look what we're doing. We're using a little cheap, shitty Chinese parrot repeater. So this is a little bit better option to the ghetto repeater we're putting together right now. But if you think you're going to have some inclement weather and you want to just waterproof it or protect it from the elements a little bit, picking one of these up and putting that whole thing in there with a little antenna port, it's, uh, as what the scientific folks say, more gooder. Okay, so here is this knot of Chinese shit we've put together. And we're going to string this up in a tree. We're going to get a little fancy. We're going to use a little standoff connector, ground stake to keep it uh, antenna upright and vertical. And I've actually found a use for the little crappy wrist strap the radio comes with. This is gonna be great. And if you guys have never used this stuff before, Daycron line, uh, get some. It's much better than paracord as far as radio applications goes. This is really slick, this polyester, so it doesn't really hang up on trees. It doesn't grab like 550 cord does. Uh, it's got great strength and it's relatively inexpensive, so Put this Daycron polyester line in your vocabulary and in practice. All right, so we're going to grab this guy, test radio, ground stake, this little guy, some Daycron line. We're going to go get this thing up in a tree, and then we're going to do some testing. All right, there it is, the world's cheapest and shittiest Chinese repeater installed. Okay, let's go get do some testing. Okay, we're sitting in the truck. We're about four and a half miles out, so let's give it a test. Radio check, radio check. Test, test, one, two, radio check. Radio check, radio check. Test, test, one, two, radio check. Sounds good. And now for testing, just for shits and grins, we've got our uh, multi-band antenna that we've hoisted up in the tree. And let's see what kind of performance we get out of that using the repeater. All right, so I went a little bit further out. I went about eight miles out and couldn't get anything from inside the truck. So we're going to see if we can't get it out here and see what happens now. Radio check, radio check, test, test, radio check. Check, radio check, test, test, radio Good check. Good deal. All right, so we got George. He's about 12 miles out from the repeater, and I'm about, I'm sitting here inside the truck. I'm back at three miles from the repeater, so let's see what happens. Big difference between the repeater and not, but I heard him both times. So use cases and final thoughts. It's cheap, it's easy to use out of the box, it offers flexibility, it works well, it has average build quality, it's portable with the internal battery, which is a nice feature, and it has very simple operation. Is it the best repeater on the face of planet Earth? No, absolutely not. But for a simple parrot repeater, it checks a lot of boxes and you can't complain about the price. Right off the top of my head, I can come up with seven really neat things you can do with this repeater. Uh, most obviously is number one, extending your service range or operating area. You can put this repeater up in a tree just like we did in the example, and that'll create a little local coverage bubble that you and your group of friends can talk to using the repeater to extend what normally would just be from handheld to handheld. Number two would be a cross band or cross service repeating. 
if you have dual watch on a particular radio, you can set that up with this repeater with only a single radio. And we, we're going to do a follow-up video on number two and number three to show you some of these things. The channel and frequency monitoring, that's another uh, neat thing that will be in that follow-up video. Number four, which is really handy, is lone operator radio testing. You can set this repeater up at a location and then do testing on your own to see what it sounds like both on the transmit and receive side. Number five for a vehicle repeater, if you have a more powerful uh, radio in your vehicle, you can use this to uh, pair it and repeat through that uh, more powerful radio. If you're in the Internet of Things, number six may interest you for uh, IoT sensor reporting. They make a, a ham shield, which is a little circuit board that can go on top of a Raspberry Pi that has a relatively low power output. But going through with this parrot repeater, you can take and increase that uh, power output through a more powerful radio. And number seven would be periodic messaging. There is an option to record uh, messages on the repeater and then have them uh, play at specific intervals. And at the end of the videos, I'd like to thank all my uh, viewers and welcome any new viewers. Also thank my subscribers. Uh, also, if you look back in a previous video, we can see that we're doing a giveaway. If you can catch the Easter egg in there, I'll tell you what you need to do for that. If you're interested in buying one of these Surecom SR112 radio record repeaters, there will be an Amazon affiliate link below. You can take and use that right there to purchase that from will not cost you anything extra but it does help out the channel a little bit and of course as always if you have any questions please feel free to leave comments i try to answer everybody as quick as i can and i certainly appreciate it thanks a lot